YouTube, we're back again, bringing you guys some more content. Pokemon Scarlet, Pokemon Violet, you guys already know what's going on today. We are using another Series 3 team, rocking out with Ting Lu and Shen Pao. I used Shen Pao in the past, actually twice in the past so far in Series 3, and been absolutely loving this Pokemon. But we only used Ting Lu once in the past, and we didn't really get to showcase it too much, considering the battles and the opponents that we were going up against did not really work with it. So I want to use Ting Lu again, and this team seemed perfect to actually showcase this Pokemon a little bit better. You got the Shen Pao and the Dragonite combo, you got Mousehold and a Nihilate combo, and then you got Ting Lu and Fluttermane to do work on their own. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Also, I want to give a huge shout out to team creator Clover Bells. You are the man. Thank you so much for making these rental codes and sharing them out to everybody for everybody to use. I'm telling you guys, he makes bangers of teams. I am going to be linking his channel down in the description below. So if you guys want some really good rental codes, definitely go check out his channel. Again, Clover Bells over on YouTube, link down in the description below. But Mousehold is going to be our first Pokemon for today's team preview. Lovely little support Pokemon, cannot go wrong with it, plus it pairs up perfectly with Annihilate. This one has Friend Guard, the safety goggles as items, and then Rock and Follow Me, Beat Up, Super Fang, and Protect. Annihilate is going to be our second Pokemon with Defiant and the Leftovers, then it's got Rage Fist to do crazy damage after Beat Up, Drain Punch for Stab and HP Recovery, Bulk Up to boost Attack and Defensive Stats, and then Protect as its fourth and final move. We got Dragonite like we already mentioned, and we already showcased Dragonite and Shen Pao together, and again, this combo, insanely broken. If you guys can get both these Pokemon out here, Shen Pao and Dragonite, at a perfect time where your, your opponent can't really counter it, you're going to win the match. This one has Inner Focus, Lumberry as Item, Rocket Extreme Speed, Ice Spinner, Stomping Tantrum, and Tailwind for Speed Control. Really, really like that. Shen Pao is going to be our fourth Pokemon, and we're rocking multiple Legends of Ruins Pokemon. We got the Sword of Ruin as its ability, the Focus Sash as its item, and then it's got Ice Spinner, Sucker Punch, Throw Chop, and Protect, which I really, really like this moveset. Fifth Pokemon is going to be Ting Lu, and not just any Ting Lu, this is a Fisher Ting Lu team. If you guys do not know, Fisher is a one-hit KO move, KOs any Pokemon in one shot, but its accuracy is super low. I believe it's like 30%, so it's a high-risk, high-reward situation. I really do like having it, though, considering, say, you're going up against a Don Dozo team, but you know you cannot kill that Pokemon. You're just going to have to try to land a Fisher as your best resort. This one has the Vessel of Ruins as its ability, Assault Vest as its item, Fisher, like we already mentioned, Stomping Cantrum, Heavy Slam, and Ruination for its move set. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Fluttermane. Fluttermane is still top tier. It definitely is still top tier in Series 3. Really, really good, and I still really like it. It's got Protosynthesis, the Life Orb as its item, and then Rockin' Shadow Ball, Moon Blast, Substitute, and Protect. Guys, you want to run this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to grab some wins with the Shen Pao and Ting Lu team. First match coming at you guys, we are going up against a Wo Shen team right here. They got Wo Shen, they got Belly Bolt, and then they got Hail team right here, or Snow team. However, you guys want to say it. He has Obama Snow and Deadly Deadly Bird, alongside with Cerule Edge and Great Tusk. How should I play this one? How should I go into it? Wo Chen's gonna be kind of annoying. We do have the Shen Pao to kind of get after it. But Wo Chen drops the attack stat, the physical attack stat. So Fluttermane is actually going to be really good here. I'm going to like Fluttermane. So I definitely want to bring it in here somewhere. So Fluttermane's definitely coming in here. But who else should I lead? I could lead uh, Ting Lu. Because if they lead Wo Chen, I could just go for Fishers. That would be one way to actually KO the Wo Chen. Just getting some RNG luck and going from there. I could get down with it. I'm going to go in with both of them. I really do like it. What's your terror type, though? What is your terror type? It is going to be... Poison, okay. I could deal with a nice little poison. So Ting Lu, Fluttermane, I like that. Do we go Shen Pao Dragonite in the back end? I feel like that could be really good for us, right? Shen Pao Dragonite, especially if we get rid of Wo Shen. E Speed could definitely eat up. I'm all about it. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna lead the Ting Lu, and if they leave Wo Shen, I'm all about going for Fishers. I'm all about having fun, trying to get some RNG luck on our side and just ripping into it. It's one of the most satisfying things, landing a one-hit KO move. I only did it a couple times in competitive fight. Only a couple times, but haven't done it in Scarlet and Violet yet, so it would, it would be cool if we could actually do it right here, right now. So let's see who they end up leading. It is going to be the Ice Combo. Okay, so the Ice Combo comes out here. I don't mind it. I don't mind the Ice Combo. Booster Energy is probably going to pop. I could see them popping a... Uh, what is that called? What is that called? A, an Aurora Veil? I still might terrestrialize my... Uh, my Ting Lu, but I really like where we're sitting with the Assault Vest and the uh the ruins 
I think that's really good for us. So I might just heavy slam you. Or I might heavy slam you down. I'm gonna heavy slam you. Oh, I just realized that setting up, uh, going Fluttermane and Ting Lu kinda, kinda hurts me a little bit, but it's not too bad. I think I'm gonna set up a sub here. I think you give me no reason not to set up a sub. So if Protect comes out from the Deli Bird, that is totally fine. I'm setting up a sub this turn. You're probably setting up a Roar Bell, right? So I sub up. He is gonna go probably a Roar Bell, and then I get off a nice little Heavy Slam into the, uh, into the Bama Snow. Okay, so that's not bad. I can start going for one hit KOs. I can start going for it. Heavy Slam coming out here. We have sub set up, and Heavy Slam's doing some nice damage, which I really, really like. So I don't really mind where we're sitting. I really don't. I could start going for Ruinations. Hmm. Hmm. Or I could just Heavy Slam. I think I'm just gonna Heavy Slam and go into a, uh, a Moon Blast here. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. We got Ruination, we have Assault Vest. Blitzer's gonna be flying here. We're able to soak pretty well with Ting Lu. Fluttermane, hopefully your sub stays up. And it does, that's wonderful, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Oh, we get off some nice damage there. We get off some nice damage, which we really, really like. So Fluttermane's gonna lose a little bit of HP. Another Blizzard is going to fly. Ting Lu's soaking due to Assault Vest and, uh, and the ability. I really do like that. I really do like that. I could've Terra to actually keep it alive here longer. But I just don't think there's a point. I really don't think there's a point to actually terrestrialize. The Deli Bird could protect. Can another Heavy Slam KO after this berry? It should? I don't know. That's cutting it close. It's cutting it close. But obviously I'm going to go for it. Because I because I don't think two Blizzards can KO. Actually, it should be able to. I could actually just... uh, I could terrestrialize. I could hard swap. But I don't think hard swap is going to be the play. Because then Fluttermane has a chance of dying. Then Fluttermane has a chance of dying. So we definitely want to Moon Blast that slot. And I think we just Heavy Slam that slot again. So yeah, I'm just going to do the same thing. I think we just do the same thing. We're wasting our Warbell turns here as well. So I can't get down with that. I probably should have checked if they were, uh, what's it called as well. I definitely should have checked if uh, that was Light Clay. But I think we're fine. We get rid of the Deli Bird. He's chipping up some damage onto us. Can we eat up this blizzard is the real question. I'm hoping Fluttermane can at least eat it up. I don't think uh, Ting Lu can. Yeah, so Ting Lu goes down, Fluttermane stays alive. I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this. So I don't think he has anybody faster than... My, what's it called? I don't think he has anybody faster than... Than my uh, Fluttermane. But we're going to bring out you. I can definitely just sucker punch and pick up a KO on somebody. And he's going to bring out the Tusk. So I might even Terrasize here, or I could just throw an Ice Spinner into that slot. I can definitely throw a nice, lovely Ice Spinner in that slot. And I gotta see, uh, Shenpao's Terror type. It's gonna be straight Ghost, which I kinda like. I think I can get down with that. And since we just straight up outspeed these guys, I think we just throw Chop for the KO here. And then we just Moon Blast this slot, right? It's definitely our best bet. I can get down with that. So yeah, we're gonna Terrasize our Shenpao right here, right now, just so the ground move doesn't kill us, and then... Fluttermane's obviously going to go down this turn, and we're going to go from there. We are going to go from there, because then I can bring out Dragonite. I can start E-Speed, but I don't have the Terra for it. It's all good, though. I like, I like Terrasalize and Shen Pao here a lot. I really do. I still think e speed is going to do a crazy amount of damage, but he actually, that's a Choice Scarf. That is Choice Scarf, and that is, that's wild. That is going to be a Choice Scarf little tusk there. That is terrifying. We might have to double down into that. We might have to double down into that. This batch is really, really good. That's a choice scarf right there. You're outspeeding my Chen Pao. That is wild. And my Fluttermane. That is wild. So what I'm thinking here is just E-speeding and Sucker Punch in that slot. It's definitely an option. Or I can just protect my Chen Pao and get after this right slot. It really depends what Pokemon they throw out. And it's going to be... Oh, no. Not Wo Shen. Not Wo Shen. <laughs> that does me dirty. That does me real dirty. I think I'm just protecting you. And... Oh, Lord. This is awful. This is terrible. This is really bad for us. This is really bad that Wochan was the back end poop one. So I'm just gonna protect and I'm just gonna go for an ice spinner. I think we have to go after you, right? So both of our stats are or both of our abilities are gonna cancel out each other, right? The defensive drops come across. And the attack drop. Actually, Shen Pao can still do a lot of damage. Maybe I should have set up a tailwind this turn. Tailwind would have been really, really nice for us. But Sucker Punch could still do a crazy actually no, he's canceling out. It's tough. It's tough. Yeah, everything's kind of just canceling out here. It's weird. It is very weird. So EQ's going to fire. We're able to block. Of course, this thing's choice. 
Of course, this thing is choice. And they still have what's it called as well, which is scary. They might be setting up a leech seed here too. They still have a Roarbell, I believe. Oh, Ice Spinner's gonna fly. They're able to soak like crazy. And leech seed is out here. Yeah. Lo Shen is locking this matchup down. Lo Shen is just too good. And that's why I want to bring the Ting Lu. It's because I kind of need to fish this Pokemon. It is terrible. It is terrible. But how many turns are left in that Aurora Bell? I think it was Light Clade. Yeah, Wu Chen, yeah, he's just locking this one down. Especially up against physical attackers. Locking this one down. That Pokemon's so good. He is, I think, the best Legends of Ruin Pokemon. I really do think he is. But let's see. How many turns left in the Bell? Oh, they're gone? It's gone. Okay. It's gone. Hmm. I think I, I was gonna say we just doubled down in this thing, but this is just tough news. This one's over with. He's just gonna EQ. It's getting set match, no problem. Yeah, EQs are flying. He's not afraid to EQ in the Woe Chen. He's not. Not afraid to do it. Does like no damage, which is amazing. That is immaculate. That is crazy. So yeah, Wo Chen's the real deal. We're gonna lose match number one here, no problem. He's just gonna stall us out with uh with the what's it called at this point, Leech Seeds. And yeah, that's a game set match. And he can start snarling me. But I dodge it. Do I keep going after him? Do I have a shot at this? I mean, Snarl's not going to do anything. Do they still... I think they could still Terrasalize, can't they? Leech Seed's going to be a pain. I mean, you can just protect and kind of stall this one out slowly. But we're not doing... We're not going to be able to do enough damage to Wu Chen. No shot. So I'm just going to run this match. That's going to be game set match. We lose match number one. Let's hop to our second match to look for a first victory. Wo Chen comes out to haunt us there in match number one, and it looks like he's gonna come out to haunt us here in match number two, going up against another Wo Chen team. And then they also have T Tar and Lycan Rock combo, alongside with Chi Yu and Fluttermane combo, or Chi Yu and Iron Bundle combo. That seems like it could be really good here as well. But how should I play this one? How should I go into it? I feel like it's a possible lead of Lycan Rock and T Tar. Definitely, right? I kinda gotta bring out Ting Lu here. I think Ting Lu is going to be great, but I don't know if I should lead it. I do not know if I should lead it. I could lead it. It is definitely pretty bulky on the physical defense side, right? Let me see it. Yeah, your defense is pretty high, but then you got that Vessel of Ruins, and then you also have the uh, the Assault Vest, which could be good. So we might just want to save it for back end in case they want to bring Chiyu, but Wo Chen is a problem here. Again, Fisher might be our friend. I could lead Shen Pao and Dragonite. That would be okay. But again, if they lead Annihilate, or not Annihilate, but they lead Titar and Lycanroc, it's, it's, it's rough for us. So I could go into Fluttermane. I mean, Fluttermane's not too bad, but I kind of like Annihilate here. Just a simple Annihilate lead. I could also go into Mouse Hold, but I'm kind of leaning towards just like Fluttermane, just straight up attacking here. I think that's her best bet. I kind of like that a lot. I kind of really like that. So I'm going to go in with them too. I am going to bring Ting Lu, and I just think I have a Shen Pao here. Shen Pao is just nice all around. Very fast, has a first turn priority move. They have no psychic terrain, so we can guarantee us that. But I'm with it. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. But a lot of dark type Pokemon here in Series 3, considering all the legendaries are dark. So having Shen Pao as the dark attack there is kind of, it's kind of eh. But yeah, there's a T-Tar like like and Rock lead, and this is why I led these two Pokemon. This is why I led these, these Pokemans. So I wish, this is a time where I wish I had Dazzle and Gleam, but I do not. I could bulk up here. I could Drain Punch. I know you don't have Protect. I know Endivore is a problem, but you can't hit us with Endivore, which is really, really good for us. So I'm just going to do that. And I'm thinking of just doubling down into, into Lycanroc. Just getting rid of it, right? Because Titar probably going to Thrasalize here, correct? Or Protect. It's it's doing one or the other. So just doubling down on Rock, knowing it can't Protect and just getting rid of it. I think it's a very strong turn for us. So there's Thrasalization. Gotta be from the Titar, right? Yeah, Titar straight into flying. I'm fine with that. That's not, not the big of a deal. Not that big of a deal. That's fine. We know it's a Soul Vessel too, I believe. And once they start hitting me, I can start Rage Fist. And hopefully no flinches come out here. Fluttermane's taking a nice chunk of damage. And Moonblast is flying. So we Moonblast you, bring you down there, and you cannot flinch here. Thank you, Annihilate. And we just get rid of Lycan Rock. I'm cool with that. Lycan Rock, gone. And we go back up to close to full HP. We do have Leftovers here as well. So I like that. Probably another rock side coming out there. They're going to take out my Flutter main. But I don't mind that. I really don't mind that. Terrible ass coming in here. Oh, that's a little scary. That's a little scary. Can you eat that? You should be able to. You do eat that. Okay, that was definitely scary. That was definitely terrifying. 
So Rage Fist can do a lot of damage, but it, again, I think they're just gonna bring out a Pokemon that's just gonna outspeed me at this point. Let's see how they play this one out. Let's see how this one plays out. Cause Titar is gonna be annoying. Titar is annoying. Fast. He's not that fast, but he's very bulky. He's very bulky, and that's the problem with him. Especially when he thrasilizes, he takes away all of its weaknesses. He's just a tough customer to play up against. And out comes you. Are you boost energy? Of course you boost energy. Of course you are boost energy. And hmm, I guess I had to double down in that, right? Do I double down or do I protect one? Because who could they possibly go in after? Hmm. I would think they go after Fluttermane, right? I think we just double down into this thing. He could even protect. I'm going to double down into it. I feel like he has to attack one of us. So getting off as much damage as we can. And of course, of course he protects. What a smart play. What a smart play. Oh, dude, that's rough. That is so rough. Because now he picks up the double kill and he's sitting in such a good spot. But okay, we got Ting Lu here. We have my Leopard. I think I don't think we're sitting in, in that bad of a position. But he's gonna pick up a KO on the one. Uh, who do I bring out here though? I think we have to save for Ting Lu. I feel like Ting Lu has to be saved. I feel like we have to go in the Shen Pao here. And rip that thing with an ice spinner. Ah, this one hurts. That one hurts a little bit. That one hurts. Double protect right there. We get off no damage there. Could have been big time for us. Could have been big time for us to actually make something happen, but a great protect from our opponent. So Shen Pao's gonna come out here from us. Again, we need to save our little Pokemon right there. Our little Ting Lu. Just in case Wo Xian's in the back. And we're gonna bring out this thing. So defense is dropped on all these guys. Defense is dropped. So Ice Spinner is going to be really good. So I'm gonna pop an Ice Spinner. I'm gonna go for the Moon Blast. I could also protect here. But I'm just gonna Moon Blast. Should I Terrasilize? I don't think I should Terrasilize. Actually, I could. Just in case Ice Spinner doesn't KO. But going into Ghost. Hmm. I think I am gonna Terrasilize. I think I'm gonna back it all the way up, and I think I'm just gonna send this Terrasilization. Just so. Again, just so that move doesn't KO me. Just so a rock slide wouldn't KO me. We're going straight into Terra. And we get right after it. And I'm almost positive. Actually, T-Tars don't rock protect, so I shouldn't worry about it, right? A lot of them are assault vests, so protect is just not a thing with them. And I know Lycanroc doesn't rock protect. It's end of war and then three other moves. So he ends up going opting for the free strike here. Taking out my flutter main. Of course you get a crit. You're KO me anyway, so it do not matter. Let me go from here. Maybe I should save the for Ting Lu. Ice Spinner's gonna fly here. So we Ice Spinner out. This is KO. Oh, don't tell me that. You're gonna die to Buffets, but Low Kick's gonna come in here. And that actually works perfectly, that Terrasilization. Of course that thing lives on a free focus ash. That's just hilarious. That is just hilarious. Okay. So Buffets taking out Titar. That's kind of funny. Your own Sandstorm KO in you. Get on out of here. Now it turns into a 2v2. We got we got our Pokemon, and we're going to lower special attack, which is great up against this Deli Deli bird. So we're lowering that special attack stat. We also have Assault Vest for this thing. And we're going to see, is this Wo Chen? This has got to be Wo Chen, right? It's Flutter Main! Oh! That ain't right. That ain't cool. That's not cool at all. That's not cool at all. So from here, I'm thinking of just Sucker Punch and looking for the KO, right? That could be good for us. Or I could sucker punch you down. Deli Bird could protect. That's the problem with Deli Bird, right? That's the problem with Deli Bird. I gotta get rid of this fairy Pokemon. I'm gonna do that, and I'm just gonna heavy slam into it. Do they still have Terra? Do they still have... No, they do not. I'm gonna double down to Fluttermane. I think Deli Bird has a chance of protecting here. It does not, but still, double down to Deli Bird. Or Fluttermane's gonna be a good play for us. Hydro Pump coming in here. We're dodging it. Beautiful. Big time dodge from us. And Moonblast is going to fly here into who? Into Ting Lu. We have a Soul Fest. We got all that stuff. And that pretty much just wraps this one off. Wraps it up. Ting Lu coming hot here in the back end. I really do like this. I really do like Ting Lu here. I was just thinking Wo Chen was going to be the Pokemon. And I needed this thing. Because if Wo Chen would have came out here, I would have just sucker punched the Deli Bird. Probably KO'd it because its defense is so low. And then constantly went for the Fisher to try to KO the, uh, the Wo Chen. But they end up not bringing it out here. And my two Legends Pokemon coming hot here. So from here, I can just Heavy Slam. I can go into a Stomp Tantrum. I am just going to go into a Stomp Tantrum, get a little bit of stab damage. But I think our opponent, I was going to say, I think our opponent cancels. But I'm going to get up that Sucker Punch. Hydro Pump going to fly here. If you, oh, you're going to go after Shen Pao. And you don't even take him out. Thanks to the ability, the Legends of Vessel. 
or the ruins of Vessel. Really helped us Shen Pao survive there. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Ting Lu, Shen Pao, clutching up here in match number two. We grab ourselves our first victory. Let's hop to our third and final and look for a winning record for today's video. Final match coming at you guys. We're sitting one and one going up against a Chi Yu team right here with Fluttermane. Then they also have Deli Bird, or I should say Iron Bundle, Great Tusk, and DD and Murkrow. Ting Lu's going to be solid here. I really do like Ting Lu coming out here. I think it's going to be great. I also like Shen Pao. I also like Dragonite and Annihilate. I might just bring all four of those. Seems good, right? Seems good. They also might lead the Murkrow, which could be a little weird. Or not a little weird, a little annoying because they could set up Tailwind. But I think Dragonite and Shen Pao could kind of counter that because Shen Pao could do some big damage on the Murkrow. And then on top of that, we could just Tailwind ourselves. Fluttermane's going to be annoying. I can always sucker punch that thing down if need be. Right? Sucker Punch can do some crazy damage, especially with the defensive drop. So I'm going to go in with both of these guys. I'm going to bring Ting Lu and then Annihilate in the back end. All day. All day, baby. I could also I could bring Fluttermane instead of Annihilate, right? Trying to think. Now, you know what? I like Annihilate. What's your terror type? Fire? Water? What's what you got here? Fire. I really like fire. I really like fire on that thing. So I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. Let's grab ourselves a win here. We're going up against a top 1,000 player. We're sitting at around 2,000 right now. So hopefully we grab ourselves a win and keep pushing up that... uh. That master tier. But yeah, one and one so far. One and one. One and one. I'm hoping to kind of get a chance to land a Fisher, but I don't know if we can do it this game. I don't think we're going to need to, actually. Because these two are going to come out here. Shen Pao Dragonite is going to also come out. Really do like this. I mean, could go into the follow me, right? Could definitely go into the follow me. Um, I could Terrasse slash Shen Pao, but I do have Sash. I do have Sash, so I'm thinking of just throw Chop into KO this thing. Could always Ice Spinner. I'm just going to Ice Spinner to get rid of Terrain and then take out Chiyu probably next turn. I can get down with that. I can definitely get down with that. I'm going to take out Terrain. And I'm going to try to KO and DD. Because I do have Multi-Scale, which is very, very lovely for us. And then, then, then I have the Sash on Shen Pao. So if this turn works how I think it's going to work, we're going to KO and DD no problem with the Throw Chop. And then both my Pokemon can survive, I say, a Heat Wave or whatever Shen pa or Chiyu wants to go for. But we're going to use Trasslas, because it could be the Indeedee here. And that could not be good. It's going to be Chiyu. Okay, I can really get down with that. Considering now we're going to do a bit more damage with our Ice Spinner. I really do like that. So yeah, this Throw Chop should KO the Indeedee, unless it protects. And then we kind of just go from there. Yeah, awesome. So, see you later. Yeah, you're gone. And then Chiyu's going to do damage. Oh no, you have Rocky Helmet? So my Shen Pao might die here. Probably going to die here. You going for a Fire Move? That hurts, dude. That hurts. Rocky Helmet? Really? Really? A Rocky Helmet on an Indeedee? That's blasphemy. That is blasphemy. But we get rid of this terrain, and now I can E-Speed freely. But we don't have Shen Pao to help us out with that. So this is going to poke out here. Not bad damage. E-Speed could KO. It could still KO. Um, Ting Lu's probably going to play here. Just to lower that special attack on what, whoever comes out here. And I think they throw out potentially like a Flutter main here. Let's see who they throw out here. It's gonna be Deli Deli Bird. So Deli Deli Bird comes out here. Okay, Deli Deli Bird, I feel you. Um, I think I still E speed into the, the Chi Yu, right? That really, that, that sucks right there. That really hurts my soul. And I think it's just going into Poison type. And maybe just Heavy Slamming or even Stopping Tantrum. Hmm. What do I wanna do? I really don't wanna Thrasilize my, my Dragonite, right? I still have you in the back end. I kind of I like you a lot. I like an I like a lot. But Ting Lu's here. It's lowering that special that special defense. I'm thinking just heavy slamming. I'm gonna heavy slam this thing, and I'm just gonna go for the normal. Oh no, we can't even go for that anymore. I think I just go for Terra here. We're not Terra, the tail one. Wait, I want to terrestrialize you. Do that, and then I'm just gonna go for Tailwind. If we get off Tailwind, that would be great. That dang ghost terror type here. God dang ghost terror type. Screw me over for the E-Speeds. So we have Terrasse Lassen. Alright, alright. Straight into Jolly Roger. That looks hilarious on this thing. Because it's like inside the cup on its head. So <laughs> it looks funny. It looks real funny for no reason. Icy Wind's going to fly here. He's going to slow, slow the boys down. And that KOs my Dragonite. Wow. I understand though. Four times super effective. The Chi Yu's still out on the field. This thing's just gonna go for Heat Wave. And we dodge it, which is big time. The Heavy Slam coming in hot here. Chipping up some nice damage. And from here, I'm terrified. Uh, 
Breach is definitely in her play. But this is scary. Heavy slam. We just go for Rage Fist. This is scary. He's gonna go for Freeze Are you doubling down in this thing? Ooh, that hurts. Heat Wave coming in here. Can you eat this up, Annihilate? You can. That's big time eat ups. Big time eat ups. Rage Fist flying. Rage Fist gonna KO to you, no problem. And Heavy Slam gonna bring this thing down to like one, unless we get a high roll with it. But I don't really think this rolls with Heavy Slam. I think it's like a set amount of damage each time due to the weights. So heavy Slam coming in hot here again. Lovely, just what I wanted. A free focus, Ash. It's everything I wanted. So I'm thinking of just protecting Annihilate again. And Delibird might even protect here as well. This is scary. Who's your final Pokemon? Who is your final Pokemon? Flutz. It's gonna be Flutz. I would love to Heavy Slam that thing now. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna protect and I'm gonna Heavy Slam. Ah, they might need to protect Delibird here. It's terrifying. Coming down to the wire. Ting Lu's here. Came to play. We have a good terror on him. Freeze try. Oh no, don't tell me you double down in this thing. Alright, we're able to soak really well. We got the soul vest, and you're gonna sub up. Well, wow, this would have been a great turn to get rid of the Deli Bird. Would have been a great turn to get rid of Deli Bird. So that ends up happening. We get a little bit of leftovers damage back. And Chiyu's not here anymore, so we're able to soak really, really well up against these Pokemon. The Ting Lu coming in hot. This is a big place for Ting Lu. So I'm just going to Heavy Slam again. They don't have Terra. And I mean, obviously, we just go for a Drain Punch. Try to finish this thing off. Let's see. He goes for the Freeze Try. You are going into Ting Lu. He knows Ting Lu's a problem. And what are you going through from here? Like, lean. We're not sitting bad. Dude, Ting Lu soaks. He soaks here. Is Ting Lu going to clutch here? Because this Heavy Slam should KO. Super effective. See you later. Let's go. Okay, and I don't think he could KO me. This Terrasalize type was huge for us. We have Assault Vest. We have the ability going. Our special defense is rather high already. We just need to go for the Heavy Slam and soak up a shot, which I think we can do. No freeze. We should be fine. Dude, he's soaking. He could probably do another one. He could probably soak up another one, yo. Ting Lu in the back end. Perfectly showcased today's video. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. 2-1 winning record. Like I said in the beginning of today's video, we didn't really get to showcase Ting Lu in the last time we used it, but this video, I got you guys. Showcased them really well today. Did not get to drop any fissures, but I really did like him in that third and final battle. Just showed how bulky he is up against special attackers. Delibird and Fluttermane couldn't even kill this thing. They were doing like 30 damage each. Absolutely amazing, especially with that terror type. We tried to slice right into poison. We were able to counter both of them. No problem whatsoever. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.